In your opinion, are there any events, people, inventions, contributions, disasters, anything whatsoever that you believe must be mentioned when talking about the recent history of the natural resources in Canada? Oh, for sure. I, I you know, hands down, I think that the, again, using our region as, as the example, but I think about the relationships that have been built between the oil sands industry up here and the First Nation communities. I have people who come over from England, from the UK, uh, through the Carilion partnership that we have, who didn't understand uh, the way First Nations people live up here and how much they've progressed. Um, you know, a lot of people think that, and, and it's the news and media that you hear all over the world, but a lot of people think that Aboriginal people are still living in teepees up here and, and big industries, you know, coming in and uh, throwing them out of their, their land. And uh, when you get here, you realize that's not the story at all and that there is a progressive relationship that exists and that there are a lot of good news stories coming out of the relationships that have been built. Mm -hmm. There's a... I have a, an extra question, I guess. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how to, how to frame it, but is there, because there was a lot of, if we look at the 80s, there was a switch from your traditional trapping life yes. with yes. now having yeah. to uh, really a new life, which would be employed by the oil sands mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. um, is there still kind of a sort of a battle between um, how to live as, as a First Nations member here? But even as a business owner, there's a battle on what you do every day. And I think you always walk that fine line because you, if it all went away tomorrow, we would be okay with that because it, it means going back to living off the land. It means enjoying traditional activities that we enjoy, that a lot of what we do outside of work involves traditional activities and, and enjoying the lands with our children. Um, however, you know, we always say that for, for Dave and I and for our company, Boucher, we always say that we're, we're making the best of the situation we've been provided. And I mean, the truth is we're in the heart of oil sands. And so why would we want to sit back and not be involved uh, meaningfully into the development of just that? Um, so I think we've, we've definitely made the best that we could with the situation. Mm -hmm.